Hi Descendants, welcome to another video. Today I'm going to be talking about the new filtering system in the first Descendant. I have been requested in my Discord, shout out to you Jello for requesting this video. Some people find it actually a little bit confusing and difficult to figure out the new filtering system. Let's talk about the filters and how to use them. In terms of weapons, you want to keep that rage rare tier and lower over here. Actually, in fact, th those are the default settings. You don't want to change these. You will never want to do this, right? So you want to only dismantle rare and lower weapons, uh, level 100, and you want to exclude weapons with enhanced unique ability. So those, this is usually only for ultimate weapons. So you don't touch, you don't touch this over at all. There's many cases where people have been dismantling their ultimate weapons on mistake. Don't be one of these. Don't do that. Now, this is uh, the filters that I have already applied. But in fact, let me actually reset everything uh, to default so that I can walk you through the different filters and explain you everything one by one. So over here, we have the reactor tier. What are the tiers that we actually want to always uh, filter out and dismantle there is no reason to just keep it at rare tier once you actually start grinding for reactors you will only pay attention 99 percent of the time to ultimate reactors so let's keep it with yellow tier level we keep that at 100 and now enhanced reactor include or exclude i'll keep that at exclude so that in case that if i had a previous reactor that i had on favorite and decided to remove it from my favorite but it's enhanced it will never go under the the mantle option so over here now we have the interesting part what is new in the filtering system over here we have option filter settings now this determines unused and used determines are you going to apply these filters that you have below selected over here or you're not going to apply it. unused me means not applied filter so if i keep it unused like this and if i select ultimate tier and let, let's just apply all the reactors that you see over here are just going to go go into the dismantling bucket to the garbage straight away right so what we if we do have selected filter and i will show you how to select those filters is actually really easy um let's say over here i do want to keep reactors and i'll just give you actually a specific case scenario over here right so this one over here is skill duration cooldown and skill duration up this is a reactor this is best in slot for glay i'm still looking for a perfect role but this one is pretty bad i'm just i'm not gonna destroy it but i will show you how the filters work so if i remove all the filters right now this reactor right now i just removed from my favorite section so if i apply the filters right now it will actually be dismantled and let's say i want to go very specific in the in the grind let's say you're grinding for ultimate glade reactor what you need to do over here is if you're only looking at skill cooldown and skill duration up and let's say the other stat that you would maybe even consider to have in this reactor reactor would be attacking against colossus right if i apply this filter right now what i did is i actually selected exclude dismantling and if i use this filter to to apply right now if i select to junk everything it pretty much selected every single non-attribute reactor without the skill duration up and skill cooldown that i've already have as a stat this way you can laser focus the reactors that you're looking for let's say you're looking for a singular electric reactor for bunny that needs to have electric damage and needs to have skill effect range for example i'm just giving an example if you have two or three stats that you 100 want on this reactor you can exclude those from dismantling and you can select everything else and dismantle it let's talk about just a few good practices here and a few reactor stats that you would probably want to keep in most cases if you find good ones so over here i would exclude skill crit hit rate i would exclude uh, i would exclude uh, skill critical hit damage in most cases and this would be a filter that in most cases if i get a reactor with these i would most likely want to take a look and keep it so I would apply those filters and right now in the non-attributed reactors, if I use my filters, it will actually remove everything else. 
that is straight up just garbage. Now, one advice that I can give you is if you are going to be filtering out, if you're looking for a specific type of reactor, let's say a non-attribute one or fire one and etc. When you're going to select junk, make sure that you select it after you select the filter so that you're looking only at the non-attribute reactors. And to give you an example how this works, if I select everything as junk right now, it will just mark the reactors that don't meet my requirements over here for the non-attribute reactors. If I change my filter right now to all the other reactors, you will see that only the non-attribute reactors have been selected and the other type of reactors that I have in my inventory haven't been touched. However, if I do click shift right now it will actually pick up all the other reactors with the same stats that are missing and it will actually mark them as junk as well so general tip that i can give you over here is always if you're looking to you know check off and see what are the reactors that you have go to the desired reactor type and then do the filtering don't delete reactors for other attributes because you might lose some good reactors you never know in most cases for the different types of descendants there was different types of stats that you want so you don't want to generally apply the same filters for all of these reactors if this is if we are actually laser focusing two or three stats let's say i want to make these filters a little bit wider right i want to actually you know give it a little bit more room to breathe and here i would let's say also add exclude non-attribute skill power boost ratio for example and since i'm looking for dimensional reactors maybe also keep in dimensional skill power boost ratio just exclude these from over here now applying this filter again i will be able to filter out and select the reactors that are just bad and delete them this is how you do it it is actually not very convenient right now if i actually want to get rid of every other reactor because i actually checked these i checked okay this is this is a skill critical hit damage but it's also rolled with an additional attack against legion of darkness this one is for example skill critical hit rate but it rolled with the toxic uh, you know uh, stuff so this technically speaking is junk for me but it's not junk for the filter because it includes one of the stats that you actually decided to exclude from, from putting in, in the junkyard, right? The way to dismantle most of the stuff, if you've already scanned through all of these, you need to go actually back to the filters and all you have to do is select from, go from use to unuse. And this right now is going to, is not going to pay attention to all these filters and you hit apply. And now if I do select my shift key to select all of the uh, reactors, now I can actually dismantle these because I have checked them actually properly. Uh, and there is not a single reactor that I actually like or need. Now let's talk about filters for external components. It is pretty much the same thing over here. You want to dismantle all this is again, unused means that this those filters over here will not be considered if you select to use those filters will be considered for filtering out what is junk and what is not over here i do include set effects the reason why i do include them is because i grind a lot of bosses and i get a lot of slayer set i get a lot of annihilation sets and stuff like this i actually want to dismantle these so it's up to you what kind of components do you want to keep i guess i will just exclude components that actually have useful stats like max hp max shield mp recovery in combat or out of combat i would also keep uh, defense shield mo recovery modifiers max mp and filters like that everything else honestly i have already components yellow component uh yellow roll uh uh, components for example for um character xp i do have yellow roll components for just grinding kuiper and and modules and stuff like that so over time i was able to get all the yellow rolls this is how i filtered them out right now i'm just interested in components that actually have useful second stats for certain boss fights and stuff like this so this is how you filter them out it's the exact same way exact same system here it is folks this is the new system for filtering your stuff in your inventory i hope you find this video useful if you did i would really appreciate if you liked this video or maybe even share it with a friend this would really help me out i'll see you in the next video and good luck with your drops